Another gangland slain has rocked Washington, D.C. This time, the victim was Anthony Scaramucci. Just 10 days after being appointed the head mouthpiece for Mr. Big, the man they call the Mooch, or Moochie, or Mooch Mooch, or Moochie Mooch, Moocharama, or Le Grand Mouche, vanished without a trace, leaving nothing behind but a string of curse words and a video of Sean Hannity saying how smart Trump was to hire him, and a video of Sean Hannity saying how smart Trump was to fire him. The announcement that Mooch Man was finished was made when Fox News received a package containing a pair of Mooch's pants with a fish wrapped in them, an old Sicilian symbol that either means Scaramucci sleeps with the fishes or we mistook Scaramucci's pants for a copy of the New York Times. The mob who favored the Scaramucci hire immediately ordered a revenge hit on the mob who favored firing Scaramucci, causing Sean Hannity to riddle himself with machine gun bullets while driving around in circles in a 1937 Roadster. The rest of Washington took to the mattresses, but that was just out of sheer exhaustion. Investigators say the hit on Scaramucci was only the latest in a string of gangland rubouts in and around the mob hideout, sometimes known as the nation's capital. Only a few days ago, Reince, dopey face Priebus, the capo de tutti capo, was eliminated by John, the generalissimo Kelly, the capo de tutti frutti, while Jeff, the Ruski Sessions, the capo decaf cappuccino, narrowly dodged a bullet which may yet take out Steve, the slob Bannon, the conciliary de tutti menudo. Rival gangs sought to take advantage of the DC mayhem as Chuck, the crybaby Schumer, tried to forge an alliance with John, the incredibly old man McCain, in the hopes of destroying Mr. Big's agenda and bringing the entire country to a standstill. McCain, however, said he was perfectly capable of doing that on his own, as he'd been bringing the country to a standstill since 1987. Meanwhile, across town, Nancy, the crazy lady Pelosi, sometimes known as Big Mama, or Incredibly Annoying Mama, or I can't remember where I put my purse, but it's around here somewhere, Mama, made her move to take over new territories by inventing new territories and then taking them over in her imagination and then dozing off with her face in her Waldorf salad. Observers agree that the crime spree has now gotten so far out of hand that it would be investigated by the federal government if it weren't being perpetrated by the federal government. As it is, we're likely to continue for some time to see scenes reminiscent of The Godfather, or Goodfellas, or The Sopranos, with the federal government. Trigger warning, I'm Andrew Clavin, and this is The Andrew Clavin Show.